Hello everyone, it's Pam here with Tattered Paper and Lace, and I want to welcome you back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be working on my steampunk journal again today. Uh, this is Friday the 15th, I think, and we have a stormy day today, so um, hopefully the rain won't get too loud. It gets kind of loud in this room when it pours down, and we're supposed to have a pour down, um, later on. So hopefully I'm either done with this video or it doesn't get too loud. Let me tell you what I want to do today. <clears throat> We're going to work on the journal, and I've got a couple of things that I want to do. But first, I wanted to come and make something that I hope I, I can use in this journal. If not, <clears throat> I will save it for another. I have all of these, as you can see, on my desk here. I have all of these um, quote chips that are from uh, Tim Holtz. I rarely use them. I always have, they're too thick to put in journals because it just makes everything too thick. So I always have to uh, take the first layer off and I, I hardly ever use them. So I have all of these and I need to do something with them. So I have picked out some already that um, I think I can make a shaped um, tuck spot. So I'm going to make it. I'm going to see if it'll work in this journal. If not, then I'll just save it for another. But I want to use up some of these quote chips because, like I said, I really use them. So I'm going to put, I've already chosen the ones I want. So I'm going to put all these back away, back in their container. And then we'll just go with the ones that I have already picked out, which are of words that I think um, fit the theme of this book pretty well. Um, so we're going to make one of the, we're going to make this and we're going to see if it'll work after I get all of these out of the way. And I will have to... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be gluing them down this piece of card and I will have to and here's the ones that I want to use and I think when I make this this will fit on some page um, from corner to corner that then can be a belly band is is my hope so um, Let's just see. And you know what I can do if, if this doesn't work. I can always um, cut them back apart and use them separately again because I always, um, always peel them off. Uh, so I've got this laying here like I want. I want it to be sort of like a um, subway sign. And so I have them pretty much like I want them to be in the order I want them to be. <clears throat> so I'm just going to, um, and to do this, which I might have to do this off camera because this is a little bit tedious, but if you get that top layer with a, a knife, you can pull that off. And then this is much, a much thinner, um, piece of stuff here. And that's what I'm after. <clears throat> So you can see the little, let me move these out of the way. You can see, I don't know if you can see, you might can't see. Um, you can see the little white layer of this card is, is right here. And I try to just, just go past that with my knife and get that started. And then I just pull it off. Like that. So I'm going to go through and do this, and, I, and I'm going to do it, <laughs> I'm going to do it on camera. So if you want to fast forward through this part, that's okay. Uh, I'm doing it on camera because I can't pause and come back uh, with, I'm using my phone to film, and I, and so I can't, I can't really pause and come back. So... <clears throat> You can watch me do this, and I hope 
I'm trying to get them at the same spot. I need a bigger knife with a longer blade. Those blades are about gone, so it is short. This one's better. You don't really have to have a sharp uh, blade to do this, but there. See, I wanted to get this. I had picked up this extra layer. Can you see that? And I just wanted this white layer on top here. And I'm not going to um, stick these down yet because I want to make sure. Actually, I got that one a little thinner than I did these, and I may try to go back and, and do that again. See how, see, I don't remember how I had this. Let me do this one next. So it's like a puzzle piece. You almost can't get just that white section. I was lucky on that one. See, I think I wanted this, like this. No, maybe this like this, and this like this. I don't, I don't remember now. So we'll do the best we can. I may have to re refigure it after I get them all torn apart here. But that will, and I'm, and I actually may get a, a thinner card than this. Okay, so I wanted this was supposed to go here. And then these went down like that. And I think I wanted this one. And it doesn't matter if they're if I get them uh, not quite as thick as the others, it's okay. I'm just gonna put that one there, or maybe I'll turn it that way. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave out see the world, I think. This goes here. I'm gonna lay them out here. I will lay them out so we can I can see where they're supposed to go. I think this is how it goes, like this. And then this is, uh, see possibilities everywhere. I think I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna leave these two off that I had originally thought I would use. I think I'm just gonna do this right here. Okay, so let's, let's do this one. See, it won't take me too long to do this. Anyway, we have um, thunderstorms this afternoon. And um, we have a warning for um, tornadoes. So hopefully that won't happen. We had one last year early in April, I believe it was. And it um, was three miles, or I shouldn't say three miles, that's not correct. It's about, it was about, um, 10 miles north of us in a little town called Griffin, which is where the Hobby Lobby was. And the Hobby Lobby was, was the roof was, was um, peeled off. And they, they are just now opened again. They just, just reopened. It just went in there uh, yesterday, yesterday, a day before, um, where they had just reopened. So we're glad to have them back. But it, it messed up a lot of houses. And um, so that was 10 miles north of us. And in 2010, a really bad tornado came through. And it um, was two miles south of us. And that that time was my, my um, brother had called and said, did you know there's a tornado headed your way? And my, my husband had just sat straight up in bed and said, we got to go and we got to go now because he uh, is familiar with tornadoes and the change in pressure. And that's what prompted him to wake up. Um, so now what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I wanted to make sure, yes, yeah, so, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to glue this down. I'm going to go ahead and use this cardstock I have because 
Uh, it, it's already here. So, okay, not this one. This one doesn't want to glue. This one come out. <clears throat> so I hope that we don't have any tornadoes. I do not want to be a part of that if I can avoid it. So hopefully we won't have any this time. But there is always that possibility. Okay, this bigger one is going to work. So I'm just, I pe so I've peeled off the backings and have tossed the backs. I'm not going to use those because they're going to be too thick for anything that I would need them for. And when I get this done, I may find that this is too thick still. So we're just going to try it and see. And I'm just going to follow my pattern here. And I will cut the cardboard down after I get everything glued down. And we'll see how, how it goes. So the rain is getting harder now. You may or may not be able to hear it. The window is just across the way there. So you may be, may be able to hear it. But anyway, um, so I have worked on a few things off camera on this journal. So I will try to remember what those things were and maybe show you what I did. So I'm gonna try to line these up just like I have them. And this is gonna use up a lot of the things, but the words I chose, the, the phrases I told, chose, are things that I thought might be something that would go in a steampunk journal because again, it is uh, during the Industrial Revolution and, you know, inventions were being uh, created left and right. Ideas were being uh, cultivated left and right. And <clears throat> so I picked out words that I thought uh, might fit. And you can kind of read those if you, if you take your, well, at least on my iPad, if you take your fingers and, and pinch it out, you can you can zoom in on a video. I just discovered that the other day. So if you don't know about that, and I don't know if other, I don't know that Android products do that or not, but if you have an iPad, uh, it will do that. And I thought that was kind of neat because sometimes I need to get close up on something that, that the person who's doing the video is not getting close up on. And I want to uh, get a close up view. Then I can I can zoom in myself. Okay, yep, that's good. So I've got, you know, thoughts and theories, uh, curiosity, uh, because those are seek. Uh, and the only one that I have that's probably this object, trivo, I don't know what that means. That's French, this one right here. Uh, this object is the first word, so it may or may not apply, but it's, gonna, it's going in there anyway because it's already down. Okay, so then curiosity, stay curious, lucky, seek, uh, one of a kind, dreamer of dreams. I think of all of these things, I see possibilities everywhere. Let's see. Yeah, see possibilities everywhere. That these are things that I think someone who is who is an inventor, uh, they have to they have to be that way. All of these things, they would have to, to be that. Otherwise, they would not, you know, discover any new, new things. So that's why I chose these words. Because I think some people would have to be lucky. Um, because, you know, all things don't work the way they imagine they might. And so... You might just be lucky, like, uh, you know, to give you an example that's a more modern example. I don't know if you're aware that 3M, um, the um, post-it notes from 3M was discovered by accident by an employee who was working on something else 
or was or was in manufacturing. They may have been manufacturing, I don't know, tape or something. And he discovered for some by accident some mishap in the manufacturing of some other adhesive to put on some other something. Uh, and he discovered this removable adhesive that didn't mess up your whatever it was stuck to. And so that was something that was huh, that was discovered as a an accident. So you got to be lucky sometimes to find things, discover things see new things. You gotta be open to seeing new things and seeing new ideas. And I also think of, in, especially in steampunk, that they are using salvaged things. So I have genuine, it's supposed to be salvaged re relics. I need to do the salvaged first. Genuine salvaged relics that I used those words because um, I think some of the things that are used are genuine salvaged items, gears and things that are put, to, put together in a different way to make a different product. So there is that. And then I need to put this at the end of it. And these are all different sizes and some, some are different widths. So I had to go through and find things that would fit in each place. And see that one doesn't quite fit in, but it's gonna be okay. This one might be, let's see, this one might fit over here better. It might be a little bit wider. Let's see, let's see if it is. Yeah, it is a little bit wider, but I don't know. This is gonna make that be longer too. I'm not going to do that. Let's see how much different. Actually, I don't think it's any water. <laughs> so we're just going to put this shorter one where I had it. So if you have these uh, Tim Holtz, what did I call them? I can't even remember what I called it. Um, I'm just gonna leave a little space in between there so it wouldn't look so funny. This one was a wider one. Oh, it wasn't, never mind. Um, <clears throat> what do I call these? Quote, quote strips, something like that. If you have these, you can do a similar thing with yours that I'm doing. And this will use up a bunch of them at one time. I probably won't buy these again. I don't even know if he still does them. Um, because I don't really use them. But there we go. There we are. Now, let me turn to see. I have houses on this side, so you're not going to see that. I use this. I've got this pack of cardstock for next to nothing, I think a long time ago at Hobby Lobby or somewhere. And so I use it, um, I use it for my book binding. It's actually what I made my book binding strip with um, because it's a nice heavy cardstock and I just uh, use, you know, cover up the sides. This is gonna go upside down, not so you don't see this, so it won't matter. Okay, there. Now, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Let's cut it out. I'm gonna get my little my little cutting mat here. And I am basically just gonna go along the line. I think this might be sharper than the other one. And hopefully I won't go over. Because it's got a little depth to it. 
Yep, that's good. And just cut this out with my knife. Going right along these lines, right next to the... And I can't decide, I haven't decided. I guess I'll see where I'm going to put it, whether or not I think it needs to be uh, inked a little bit so it's not quite so white. And we'll see about that. So I'm just going to cut this out. And this is going to be a belly band for this journal. I'm going to go all the way up here with that so I can take out this piece. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be that's gonna work good. See, I actually like, that's why we call it a shaped, um, I actually like the different lengths of words. So like I said, this is sort of like a um, subway sign. That can be a little tag later. So there we are. Now, I think I've got a little bit of a problem. I'm not sure how to, because where this line is, is the only pl place going in this direction that is a continuous line across there, and it will bend right there. And I don't really want it to, so do I make it do I make it thicker? Do I put it on here again to make it thicker? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it won't matter. Or maybe I could put some masking tape or something over that area. Or I might could uh, do I use Liquitex Max Matte Medium instead of um, Mod Podge. So maybe um, that would work. Let me raise you up just a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's better. Now, see, I think wherever I put it, if I put it on the right page, oh, it's a little too long. Oops. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. I thought I had figured that out. I mean, I can't use it this because this is the biggest page, but let's just, let's just look. Let's just look somewhere and see if I can put it on a page, like I could put it on this page. But it's not going to work. It needed to be no longer than the curiosity word and no longer than the dreamer of dreams right here. And I do not, I don't really want to cut it off. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So I've shown you how to make this. Just make sure you make it the right size for whatever you're making it for. Uh, I'm going to lay this aside, and I could cut it apart and start again, and I may, or I could just cut it off, It's, or I could cut it apart and, and do a whole different one. So I'm going to lay it aside, and I've got something else I want to do, so we'll just do that. Uh, but you saw how to, you saw how to do that. That's, that's a, a, that would make a cool, with, you know, if it's not too long for your book, make sure you measure uh, that would make a cool um, little piece of something to put in there. This would, oh, this would be good to put in there. Um, that would make a, a cool little belly band in, on a page. So um, I may have to cut that apart and, and do that again, figure out something else. 
Okay, the other thing I wanted to do was, let me pull this out because I've already been working on it, sort of. And I wanted to get it together and maybe figure out what to do on the other side because this, well, for one, starts out, this is a piece, this is an, an envelope that has been cut off and the other parts have been used. I want to make it be a, um, like a bookmark that you would fit over the page, like so. So it won't be fastened in, it'll just be here. This will also be collaged on this side. Um, and that it'll it'll be like a bookmark. So you can put it anywhere you want to in the journal after it's there. Let's make sure this is glued down. It's not, so let me get that glued down. And I actually, so that's something you can do with the portion of an envelope is make a bookmark, an over-the-page bookmark, I think is what it's called. I don't know that I'm the one that came up with that. I think others have done that. I've seen it somewhere before. I have some giant photo corners that are big that I got for scrapbooking a long, long time ago. I have used those for over-the-corner, uh, and I may use one in this. It's, it's, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, but I wanted to use this envelope here, and I'm thinking I might want to round this corner. I hadn't really thought about that. I want to make it, so I want to make it be on the top, so I want the opening to be here. So I'm going to collage on both sides, but I had already came, had already come up with an idea for this side. So I thought I'll do it over here first. I don't, I think this is like this. This is a little Tim Holtz, Holtz piece. It looks like a letter. This is a true stamp that I have on here for commerce, which I think fits in with the theme of this journal. I thought a little bit of music page down the side here. I thought these black numbers, which are also Tim Holtz, might look nice here. I like numbers, using numbers. And then this, I was gonna stick right back here, this little circle. This kind of repeats the circles up here with the where it says commerce. And I also had this label that I thought I might put on here. And then the opening Oh, wait. Yes, the opening is on this side. So you would have to do it inside, which would be fine. Inside like that. And it would just be a tab on the other side sticking out. That I'm not sure I'm going to do. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. We'll see. But I am going to do these other things. So we'll go ahead and get those things done as well. I guess I'll use my big big bottle since the little bottle doesn't seem to want to work. I could make it work, but this one is clogging up too. Ugh. Okay. Let's get a pen. Okay, let's unclog it. Just like that. I'm not going to use this one since I got to unclog both of them anyway. I might as well unclog the other one and use it. It's easier because it's smaller. It's almost out though. I should have thought about that before I started this video and I didn't. Oh wow, this pen don't want to go in there. Oh yeah, it does. It's just clogged. Wow. This one is really clogged up. Okay, there we go. Put this back over here on my pen cushion. And this is, like I said, almost out. So I may have to go to the other one anyway. 
So this is going to be a move around piece. It's, it won't, won't have to stay stationary. It's not going to be fastened in. And so I will have to do both sides of this. I just love this drywall tape that I've got right here. This little netted drywall tape is the coolest stuff. The other one I have, which is paper. It's also drywall tape, but it's paper. I'm gonna eat this a little bit. Get rid of the white line, just with the ink that's on my, on my sponge, which is um, frayed burlap. And then we're gonna get this down. I love using postage stamps, uh, book page, all kinds of things like that. I think I'm going to move this over so this number shows right there, like that. Put that down there like that. I need to ink around these numbers. I am not going to eat ink around the book, the music page. I'm just going to leave that as is. I just want to get rid of the the white edge on these numbers. And I don't know why I'm putting 35 instead of 53. I have no idea. It's just what seemed right to me. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to put this music page. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to do it just down like that. I'm going to rip this off a little bit and rip this end off a little bit. I don't want it to go all the way top and bottom. So I'm just going to rip it off so that it's just like that. And that'll be perfect. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, you can tell me whether you want to see this or not, is I have a ton of little scraps like this one in my hand of book page, plain papers, different colors, you know, all, all in the neutral tones that I go, oh, but I might use that for something. Well, I have done master boards on book pages using those. And I thought I might do a video, come on and do a video in the, for that process. And if you would like to see that, let me know. I have had a couple of people say that they would like for me to do a demonstration of the um, faux tape that I make and use in my journals. And I can do that. I will do that. I am going to do that. Uh, it will, it'll be a short little video. Where's my tissue? There it is. Okay, now I'm going to put this one right here. Just like that. But this has to go behind it. So, I want to do it just like that so I can be sure I get it in the right place get this little circle in the right place right here so I will glue it to the five first those are not exactly the same size but that's okay okay so we've got that glue now now I can just glue the whole thing down so that's another thing is you know you can make so much you don't ever really have to buy anything this little circle is from a book that had some handwriting in it and I just it was a little piece I had left so I cut a circle out and I have those in you know little tins that I pick up and use when I'm just doing something like this and it works out so nicely okay I think and also, I've also found these. I don't know what these are. I squished them together because they were had a little space. But they, let me put this on the end here. They're just a little metal thing. <laughs> I don't really know what they are. I found them in my stash. I was cleaning out some stuff. 
So that's kind of cool. And then on this side, well, you won't see it on this side unless you, unless you have this in your hand. Um, so I could put that on there. That's kind of cool. Or where did my put on the floor? My other tab it wasn't this one. Oh, here it is. This one. I could do this on here, which again you won't see unless you have this in your hand. You won't see it when it's on the page, but even then it's okay uh, because this will be slipped over, you know, so you won't see it. Um, so I could do that, but I also could stick this on there like it's holding that on. Nah, I'm not going to do that, but I am going to use these somewhere. Those are kind of cool. I think I want to do this like that. Yep, I do. Okay. Just need to make sure I don't close up this little envelope. So this is a, a neat thing to do with pieces of envelope. So when I cut off of an, of a, an envelope for using it for some other reason, for some other something, uh, I don't, I don't throw it away. Because if I have an end, just like this is the end of an envelope, and I think it was a window envelope that I used um, for something else. I want to put it on this side. I think it was that this was a window envelope. I used the window for a specimen card or something. And I just kept this little piece I cut off because I thought that I would be able to use it in something. And lo and behold, I'm using it here. So I, I just don't throw away that all that kind of stuff because it's it's fodder, <laughs> collage fodder. Okay, there, that's that side. Let's see how that looks. So let's say we're putting it on this page. And of course I have to do the other side but that can go right on there and then you can use it as a tuck spot until you move it again. So that uh, that's, that's cute. I like that, that's gonna work out well. Now, I need to do something on the other side. Now, what was the inspiration for this? This piece of drywall stuff right here. Um, it was just laying around. And it's self-stick, so I just stuck it down and said, okay, I'll go with this and we'll make something from this. But now I want to make another one, the other side. So I'm going to go get some more drywall tape because I can find it. And where are you? Never mind, I can't. I don't remember where I put the drywall tape and I didn't get it out ahead of time. So we're gonna lay this aside so that I can remember to, uh, do we need anything else on here? I don't think so. I think I like it just like this. Uh, no, I don't think I need anything else on here. Yeah, I think that's good. So I'm gonna lay that aside. Lay that aside. Let's see what else I might do here. Oh, I know what I can do. I have some stuff right in here. Some vintage stuff. And this is like really old pages and parts and pieces. And this. Oh, here's, this is the drywall tape I was going to go look for. So I'll just use a piece of this. The, it's, it's basically white or, or cream colored. And I was going to use a piece of that, but I can use a piece of this. Or I can do something different totally. I may use some of this, some of these pages to do the other side of that. But like I said, these are, um, those are the only ones that are vintage. So, 
what I wanted to do with some of these, maybe, I, I just want to put that in a pocket because it is a whole little letter and it is um, $10. I don't, I can't read it. And it's from 19, it's from, um, 1887, I believe it just says 87, but I don't, it could be, I guess it could be 1887, I don't know, it looks older, but it's, it's just regular, like a children's notepad paper, it says, please send me your note maybe for the ten dollars I don't know what it says but I just thought I'd stick that in there so it may be uh, 1987 it could be that no older than that but I want to one of the things I want to do is there is a piece of one of these signatures Okay, I did put this in. I sew, sewed this in. And I put that in. I'm going to use this as the card. I don't know that I'm going to do anything more to this card but ink the back of it. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, maybe all I did in here. Oh, I've done stitching. You know, I told you I wanted to do something along the edge of this page so that you could see it when this page was folded over. So I just decided to do stitching since I had this here. So I did that stitching. I'm leaving the threads. Um, anybody who doesn't like the threads can cut them off. I did some stitching along here. I think I had already done that. And then I just keep going this. I thought I might put here. I have not made that decision. Something will need to go in a pocket here, such as this. Uh, see, this would be a good thing to put in a pocket or not. But, you know, I'll do that. I'll do all that later. Uh, I do want that there. Did stitching along where it, so you see this stitching on the other side so you get the double duty with stitching because you get the stitching on the one side you get the stitching on the other side which also adds something to that side of the page same here so it kind of does double duty which I like that okay so I did I've done this I've done mostly done so I think added this and stitched around this dial um, and added that. Oh, let's see. I'm looking for the tissue paper. I did. Uh, I've, I'm, I think I'm going to leave this here. I actually have a vellum one I need to find because I think I want to use the vellum one. But I think I'm just going to clip this in and not fasten it in. Uh, so I didn't do any. I didn't do any stitching, did I? A little bit. Well, this was already stitched. I stitched this when I made it. So we've got that in there, and it's a pocket back here, and it's a pocket right here. So that's two pockets. I didn't do any stitching in this, in this uh, except to put that on. I may have to come back and do some more stitching with that. Uh, so I, I made the clip I told you I was going to do. Stitched along that, which made stitching here, and I put the washi along the edge here. I put this dial on here, and I made it be a tab, so I put a dial on this side as well. And there's that one. That one needs some more stitching, I think. Let's see. Okay, I've got this. I still need to, to um, do this collage back here. Like I said, I'm not going to do that until until the book. It's in the book. <clears throat> okay, I added this page. This is I took out a page and added this old page because I found it in my stash. So I decided I wanted to use this. I don't think I had put this as a pocket um, last time, this image of this building. So I added that. I've changed this page out. I tore this page down and then just slid it under, inked on the edges and slid it under and made it a shorter one. And I'm, I may or may not add anything to that page. It may just be like that. Um, here. I had this in already. I am going to do a um, bulb pin with some something hanging off, or 
I am going to do um, a chain and fasten these two little tags to that chain to this. I might do that as well. We'll see, that, that will make it thick. So, and I put a couple of vintage pieces of paper in this little pocket. And then I have a tag over here in that pocket. And this is from the kit, this image. This is a Tim Holtz tag. And I've just cut out the images from this kit uh, from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And I just glued it onto the tag. So the tag is double-sided, which I love. And it was just a quick and easy tag. So I need to do something there. I didn't, doesn't look like I did any stitching here. Except that I will maybe close this pocket with stitching. We'll see. I didn't do any stitching on this one, so that might need to have a little bit of stitching. I like to put a little bit of stitching throughout, um, but I, I want to do something to now this one. This signature is fat. I'm not entirely sure why, <laughs> but this one is fat, so let's see what we have in here. Did some stitching, did stitching along there. I need to do something here with this pocket. And more stitching here. Where? What is that? I don't know. Let's see. This. Okay, it's this. Oh, well, for one, it's two signatures together. No wonder. <laughs> okay, but this is. But I like this. I think I'm going to leave it in there. It is. This is the wax seal that I showed you earlier. I had not had this glued down, so I have it glued down now. Uh, so I've covered this book, this side of this book page here with um, painter's uh, painter's mask. This was from a little postcard thing I got for a play, so I cut that out. And then this is part of a quarter wrapper. But this uh, was a, a compass, so I just had this little gold. See, this has a little bit of gold around the edges here, and, and these little leaves have gold. So they had this gold gear that I just put in the center of that. And I like that. Um, so that makes it a little bit bulkier. Maybe this was this was not laying flat. That's possible too. So this, this little piece, was, was given to me. It was made from a book page. Then we have a little pocket in there. It has this bulb pen with this little these little wings on there, and it says, measure your journey in friends rather than miles. So I put that there, just a little piece of paper that I had, and this is another one of those ping pong photos that I'm sticking right in here. And when I glued this down, it already had the lace on it and this little gold piece, but I put this red thread just down behind it and then glued it down. And I, I really like how that turned out. So that was a, a Happy Mail piece. Okay, got this little pocket to do. Made this pocket, which you've seen over and over, because it was one of the first things I did. I added this little piece of tissue right here. I just, I just had it. It was laying on my desk, and it was a piece that said something that could go in here. So I, I put it in there. That's Tim Holtz tissue. Okay, so this is not as fat as I thought. It had this signature in with it, which really made it feel fat. I haven't run across that tissue yet, or the, you know, the tracing paper sheet. Okay, I don't know if you've, I changed this some because this, this was down here. And I didn't like, I didn't, this didn't fit. So I, I tore that off and in doing so it tore, this is an envelope, so it tore part of the envelope and I just added a piece of paper um, to make the other pocket because this was another pocket and that made it be a little thinner too and that's a good thing. Sewed around this pocket and I may or may not do anything. I think I'm just going to stamp a number across here, I think. And then here, nothing else. I added this label, this Tim Holtz number. I added that to this and I think I don't think I had glued that down yet, so that's down. I, I decoupaged these napkins on. That's something I did outside of videoing. 
Um, I did, I haven't done this yet because I haven't decided, but I think I'm going to put this here um, and just glue that down just for a decoration. I've just got it tucked in there right now and I had this piece of the coffee dyed paper, lined paper tucked in here. Oh, and uh, I did the uh, half of it said notes is under that uh, belly band with the uh, wax seal. So then we have this side that's, you can write on that. And then I have this, which I have not yet decided on. Uh, I'm going to put this in there. I don't know if I've shown you this. I made this a long time ago. This is a, a, a faux postcard made from wallpaper. I may have shown it to you, I can't remember. I'll tell you about it again. So this background is, is wallpaper, this leaf and this background. I stamped this on there and I stamped this on there and I stamped a dream on there and, the, and this. So anything else that's on here was already on here and I just made that into a postcard. That's gonna go in here and I'm thinking this is where this is going to go. I haven't, obviously made up my mind yet because it's not glued down. I might put this here, napkin decoupage. I haven't decided because when I think of Industrial Revolution, it's not just the US, it's, you know, England and France and everywhere else. And, and they go from, you know, people come here from Paris, we, people from here go there to Paris. So I just thought this might be, and it, the colors looked good with this. So I just thought that might be something kind of neat to put down here. I may uh, cut a fussy cut on around here and cut this part off. Just have this up here. I haven't decided. That's why that's just sitting there. Okay. And then what else? Still haven't found that piece of tissue I'm looking for. <laughs> that's interesting. Is it in here? Okay. I decided that this here would be a tuck spot instead of a flip out. So I, I glued it down, glued this on top, glued this piece on top just for a little decoration. Uh, so that will need to have something in it because it's a, it's a little tuck spot here and it is a pocket here. So that's got a couple of things. And then this has got to be done something with this folded up piece is a pocket. And we have this. I still want to do some stamping. Um, I need something only to go in that pocket. We're going to do pockets and all later. I think, I'm not sure that you saw, you may have seen this glued down, but I decided this would be the image that will go in there. It is uh, from the back of packaging that where you that's a picture of you making this little thing right here this little flip thing i don't know where the flip thing is i don't even know if i ever made it i don't know whatever happened to it but anyway that that's going to go in there behind there uh, and the other side i will ink up okay so that is all i have done i didn't find my tissue tape my tracing paper paper that i wanted to fold this over the edge or fold something over the edge to make it a little stiffer. And I, I don't I don't see it. I didn't run across it. I may have taken it out, come to think of it. That might have been the thing I took out because it oh no, here it is. This is what I was looking for. This is it. Let's move these aside. Because this is what I wanted to do with this. I want to put it across here, but I want it to be cattywampus. I don't want it to be. This is from a cross stitch, old cross stitch. So I want it to be um, folded, uh, not not evenly by any stretch of the imagination, to give it some strength. Uh, it doesn't really have to have any strength, so I don't know. Do I really want to do that? Or maybe I want to use this as a little tuck spot. Or maybe I want to do this. Mm, I'm rethinking now. See, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't rethink. But somewhere, wherever, like this kind of pocket, I might want to put it on that. 
instead. Yes, I might want to do that. So, never mind. I'm going to end it here. Um, we've gone over what I have added since you last joined me. Uh, we put together this. We put together this that I don't know if I'm going to use or not. Okay, this has stiffened up a little bit since it's been um, drying. And this one, I'm going to mash it down a little bit because it's, it's thicker than the other. So I did this. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I may cut it apart and do it again because I don't know. I didn't check it. I added this later. That's the problem. Ah, I think that's the problem. Because it would have only come... Oh, it still would have been a little bit long. I can cut this off a little bit down here. Still would have been a little bit long. I added this one later. Okay. I'll think about that. I don't know if I want to cut it off or not, or I want to just redo it. I also added this, which I could take out. That still wouldn't make this be too long. Never mind. I'll think about it, and then I'll decide. I appreciate you joining me. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope you could even follow what I was saying. Um, <laughs> and hopefully I talked loud enough, because I tend to lower my voice when I'm sort of thinking to myself, which is sort of what I was doing with you guys. So um, hopefully... You could hear me and hopefully you got a little bit out of this at least some things that you can do um, with bits and pieces that you have so i appreciate you joining me and um i will see you in the next video we'll go over again what i have done because i will probably do some more things uh off camera uh, but anyway so i appreciate you joining me and i hope you will have a good day good weekend uh and that you're safe and happy and healthy and I appreciate all of you who have subscribed and who follow along with my videos please comment and let me know um, if you like what I'm doing or if you're saying no you need to do something totally different then I'll have some idea as to whether this is content that you like to see I do get a lot of views or what I consider a lot of views um, or a decent amount of views, but I don't get very many comments. Please, please, please comment for me and let me know what you think. Just send me a heart. That's all you got to do. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you would like to see further videos from me. Thanks for watching. Bye.